Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for the fourth. So, yeah, so this is going to be right around the beginning of the eclipse energy, right? The timing is fluid. Let's just see what comes up. What kind of message do I need to deliver today? Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is emotional, loving, warm, tender, sensitive, psychic abilities. Listen to your gut. Um, it's probably going to be a very emotional time, put it that way. You're going to need to master your emotions and try to remember to act with kindness and love because it's all about love so the Queen of Cups is all about love but it's also very emotional and it's very sensitive energy there's going to be a lot of feelings coming up okay a lot of feelings are going to be at the surface Ooh, the world reversed. Now, the world reversed is uh, lacking goals, stuck in the present, refusing to listen to anyone. Somebody needs an attitude adjustment. And the world is a universe card. Okay, it's a major universe card. It's the universe is in control card. Okay, one of them. So somebody has had a lack of success because they have been refusing to change. That's the truth. There's no positive change because there's too much resistance. Not learning from mistakes. This is like flogging a dead horse. It's over. It's over. But not stepping into the new world. Not stepping into the new life. The new beginning. It's over but staying stuck in the present. Somebody's heart, because the Queen of Cups is all about heart, is probably their intuition, their gut is speaking to them. Or they may be receiving messages from a psychic or a healer or somebody that is saying, you know, it's over. This is, means it's over. But this is refusing to explore new avenues. So there's an attitude adjustment that is needed. Okay? Hmm. Now, the moon, the, I don't know why I was going to say the moon. We are having a full moon, so I mean, this has something to do with the full moon. That's pretty interesting. That just came out of my mouth. The moon is going to bring about a change that has been avoided, okay? Um, there's fear. There's fear of, of going in a new direction. There's fear of the new life. There's fear of, of not knowing, right? The moon is going to bring emotions to the surface. So be prepared for that. Ooh, there's a new opportunity for love. The Four of Cups reverse. Somebody was neglecting an opportunity for love they were they were choosing not to see it or they were avoiding it okay they were wallowing in their own self-pity they were with the four of cubs if you think about it upright missing an opportunity okay somebody it's like god was or a higher power said hey i got something for you but this person was missing it the whole time because they were choosing not to see it moping this person was moping, focusing on a loss, probably a third party situation. You know, they parted ways with somebody in the past and they just were refusing to let it go. But the heart, the heart is wanting love here because it really needs love, okay? Um, this is a very feminine energy as well. So there's, it's like, feminine is all about feelings, okay? So it's like this is seizing a new opportunity for love, and that is a cup of love. So we have the Ace of Cups here. There's going to be overflowing, there's going to be an abundant amount of emotion, put it that way.
okay? So just, just be ready. There's going to be tears. I know there is. This is seizing a new opportunity, taking it. We have an individual that has been in a sad situation. They've been... Um, not receiving attention, brooding, overanalyzing the causes of what caused the separation. They've been discontent and they've been looking for more, but they've, and, and it's like the universe has, because this is, this is the hand of God and this is the universe, or, or something, a higher power has said, you know, we have something for you if you could just Look up if you could look in another direction, but you're refusing to look in another direction. Not right here. It's like somebody's got an intuition is talking to them, but there's refusal. But this is seizing the new opportunity in reverse. The Four of Cups in reverse is actually better. It's the end of stagnation. It's interested. It's re-energized. It's letting go of the regrets in the name of love. It's looking forward now. This is stagnation, though. It's the end of stagnation. Okay, it's coming. The universe is going to do something. Ooh, four of pentacles reverse. This is definitely opening up and letting go. Letting go of fear. It's time to relax. It's time to release. It's time to stop being so stubborn and obsessed. So we have some letting go. Somebody's letting go. They are. They're letting go of a situation that they have been, maybe it's pining over or moping over, hold, you know, refusing to let go of. It was an old chapter. It was an old phase. It ended already. You know, it's over. It's done. Oh, the hermit. This is a time of reflection. Time to go in. Time to go within. Time to retreat. It's time to think about your next move. Somebody, you know, the world reverse could be somebody leaving without saying goodbye. Maybe that's what happened or that's what's going to happen. This is lack of closure. The, the, the world reverse is lack of closure. Somebody may have left and, and somebody, you know, didn't get proper closure. And a lot of people use that as an excuse to hang on. Oh, I didn't get closure. You got closure when that person left. This is making excuses in the upright. Stop brooding. Stop overanalyzing. Stop making excuses. The minute that person walked out, you got your closure. It's over. This is a very wise individual who has been enlightened or is about to be enlightened. It's time to withdraw from others and reflect. Completely go within. This is alone time. Realizing your true identity. Isolation. This time of isolation that the world has put us in, has brought in somebody into a state of enlightenment, absolutely, positively. So now this, this person is seeing the light. They've become enlightened about a situation. They have through this time of isolation. Aha. Uh -huh. Two of Swords. Now that is being torn between two paths, two avenues. Uh, stuck. It's painful, stressful decision. Somebody has been in denial, avoiding the truth. Wearing a mask. <laughs> oh, get me going on that one. We're not going to do that. Maybe during a live. I do plan on doing a live here soon. But somebody's been wearing a mask, and that mask needs to come off. This is denial. Avoiding the truth. Restrictions. This is somebody that is restricted. They're re and they're choosing to restrict themselves. You need to listen to your gut. Listen to only yourself. The hermit is about listening to yourself and yourself only. Not the fucking world. Excuse my language. Anyhow. 
two of swords. This is a painful, stressful decision. Somebody's been avoiding the truth uh, at a crossroads, needing to make a difficult decision, stuck in the middle. Yes, being stuck in the middle. Blocking their emotions, blocking what they want to do. They know what they want to do, but they've let the <laughs> society control them. But we're going to change the subject here. Okay, we're going to change the subject, okay, because we are. Now, this is a release. This is opening up. Things opening up. Something's going to open up. This is a new opportunity that is coming. It is. A new opportunity is coming. Things are going to open up. But you gotta, you got to unrestrict yourself and come out of hiding. It's time to reconnect. Anyhow, this is blocking. Blocking emotions. Refusing to see the truth. That's crazy. We have somebody here that's been refusing. Uh... For sure. Nine of Wands reversed. Now this is extreme this is extremely hard feelings, which there is. This is avoiding challenge. The nine of wands reverse is avoiding challenge. We have somebody here that has been avoiding challenge because of great personal fear. Great personal fear. Oh my god. This is letting go, opening up. Things are about to change. Trust me. They are. Ooh, star reversed. Now this is a lack of hope. Depression. The star reversed is where fear takes over. Oh God, why do I have to be the one to deliver this message? Oh my God, because I'm the only one that has the balls enough to do so. Oh jeez, I'm crow. Please. We got somebody here that is so fucking fearful. It is sad. They are fearful of living and they are stuck. They are stuck in, in control, allowing themselves to be controlled. Oh my God. Anyhow, this is, this is, if, if you were to look this card up, this is where fear takes over. There's no faith. Now this is uh, depression. We have an ind we have somebody here that is in depression. You know, restriction and isolation has brought them into a depression. And it's because they've let fear control them. Anyhow, um, this is a very challenging time. There's, there's walls that have been put up, barriers, boundaries. Um, but this is opening up, letting go. It's time to relax. Time to let your guard down. It's time to, and I'm just going to say it, there's a mask right here. It's time to take the mask off and step into the light. Step into the new life. Step into the present, please. Anyhow, um, blocking success, blocking success, okay? Two of Swords is about blocking and the world upright is about success. Somebody is blocking their own success because they're refusing to see the truth. Oh my God. Anyhow, um. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is about hard work, skills, common sense. Oh my God. This is about using common sense. So we have somebody here that needs to be practical. They need to be realistic. Things are going to start to open up more and more, just so you know. Just, and I know this is about, this is a weird subject. And I don't know why this is coming out. I wish it wasn't me, but I can't control what comes out. This thing, this is things are going to open up. 
Okay, something is about to open up. There's new opportunities that are coming. They are. For the enlightened individual that is awakened, okay? This person is awakened, okay? No mask on this one. This is an awakened individual, okay? That has a Jesus consciousness. This, if you look down, this person sees that this person is wearing a mask. Take a look at that. Because of fear. Oh, there's fear, right? Both these cards, extreme fear. It's blocking your success. Anyhow, anyhow, blocking your new beginning. But whatever, we're going to change the subject, please. Anyway, this, I can't. Yes. Stop. Okay? Oh, my God. So this is the Knight of Pentacles. This Knight of Pentacles is a new opportunity. Use some common sense. Be practical. Move forward. Stop, stop, stop restricting yourself. Oh my fucking God. This is a person that sets sets a goal. This is a hard worker that is very skilled. That has the resources to build something. But they have to stop restricting themselves. A new opportunity is coming as well. Now I have to tell you, it's a time of manifestation right now. This is the Ace of Pentacles about manifestation. Your thoughts truly do become things. If you are in a state of fear, you are not manifesting success. You are not manifesting a new beginning. You have the power in your hands to manifest great things. But you have to let go of your fear. There's a golden opportunity here that could grow into something solid. It is. It is. But you're going to have to be practical. You're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone. And you're going to have to keep going. You can't just be stagnant. You just can't stay in hiding. You have to come out of hiding. Anyhow. All right. So, oh my God, Three of Swords. Now, this Three of Swords is a painful separation. It is. It's a loss of some sort. This is heartache, suffering, pain. Oh my God. This is like a oh my God moment. This person is like, oh my God, this, this hurts. So, there's, this is pain. So, there is some sort of a painful truth that is coming. Okay, this is painful. It hurts. Underneath it is the Two of Swords. Before the Two of Swords comes the Ace of Swords, which is the truth. Some sort of truth is coming. Somebody tries to block the truth. Now they have to accept the truth. Okay, and it hurts. So something is going to happen that forces somebody to accept the truth. Okay. Whatever that is, I'm not sure. Now this is why, 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 why is this happening? Something is going to happen that really hurts and I don't know what it is. This is why now. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Oh my God. Oh my God. Somebody may have may leaving or something has ended, uh, you know, without saying goodbye. This is going to wake somebody up. There's somebody about to get a wake up call. I'm not exactly sure what it is though. This, this Knight of Pentacles is about profit. It's about gain. Somebody is trying to gain a profit. Off of somebody else's fear. Oh, bastard. 
Oh, jeez, I'm crow. Why did, why? There's some sort of hard feelings here as well. Now I'm going to change the story a little bit. This is hard feelings. We have one individual here that is a hard worker, very stable, very solid, um, that is very focused on building their financial security. Okay, This person um, is very uh, loyal and you know focused on their business or whatever, their career. There's some sort of greed. There's a greedy individual here that may, because of this right here, there's, that may have some hard feelings. There could be some jealousy with this. It feels like there's something going on here. I feel as though there's going to be some sort of news that is delivered in regards to... A loss okay there's going to be a loss this is a loss and it could be the loss of a business that somebody built up or the lot it's a loss of money or it's, or it's a loss and and that hurts it hurts I don't know what the hell is going on this is a painful separation we definitely have a greedy individual here we do I feel like this greedy individual that um, isn't a very hard worker feels is trying to take something from somebody that is a hard worker. Interesting. I don't know where that is coming from. Um, why is this happening? We definitely have why is this happening with these two cards. Somebody is about to um, see the light as to who they are dealing with. They've been avoiding the truth. They've been in denial, but something is going to happen that with the moon is going to reveal the truth. Okay. All right. Oh my God. The moon is on the bottom. Yes, sir. So, well, oh my fucking God, I'm sorry. Something is about to be revealed that somebody has been hiding. Somebody has been manipulating. They have been uh, pretending to be somebody that they are not, and it's about to be revealed. Okay, and there's going this person that figure finds out is going to be very distraught when they find out, and it's going to be very emotional. We could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer or, or a Scorpio. Okay, very first card out. Doesn't have to be. Um, The truth is about to be revealed and it's gonna hurt and it's probably gonna cause a separation somebody's been stabbed you know they've been stabbed in the heart this is very heart-wrenching somebody's gonna receive the truth and it's gonna break their heart it's heartbreaking Whoever they've been dealing with is is not wanting to move forward. Or they're not going to be. They're going their own way. This is a rude awakening. Somebody's about to get a rude, rude, rude awakening. Um, there is also a very loving individual that is about to give her heart away to another person that is uh, a very hard worker. This person is stable, solid, uh, building up uh, their stability. So we have this loving individual, could be a healer, psychic, nurse, counselor, whatever, is, is, is focusing on giving her love to this person. This person is a hard worker and has stability is stable so whoever this person is is going to be um getting an offer from somebody that is very loving okay um yeah 
So anyway, it's going to be interesting. It is going to be interesting. Somebody may may block communication from the other one, you know, because it's blocked. So communication could be, end up being blocked with the other one. Um, there's definitely going to be a choice that is made. Uh, one person is going to be uh, saying why, 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 why. Um, and I think it's because whoever they are dealing with... Um, is on a different spiritual level, okay, is, is awakened. We got, we got, that's what this is. It's like we got one, one person that is more awakened than the other. I, I feel like somebody is leaving without, without saying goodbye, you know, as well. And, and I think it's because they have another opportunity. I think it's because they have another opportunity that is bigger and better. Um, they're taking a new opportunity. That's what's happening. And I think it, 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 there's, it, it's going to be painful when the truth comes out that there was a rejection. Now, there is a rejection here. There is. It's going to be very challenging. It's time to accept and cut your losses, okay? With that world card reverse, somebody has been having a hard time accepting and cutting their losses, but there's a new opportunity here. That's why it ended. There is a new opportunity coming in. That's why it happened. It happened because there's something better, okay? It's time to go within and retreat and, you know, re-identify. This is re-identification, so this painful separation is going to cause somebody to retreat and re-identify and eventually come together with somebody that they are more aligned with. But anyhow, this was a difficult message. It really was because it came, it, it uh, covered a lot of different areas. Anyway, there's a new opportunity for love here that somebody is taking. Uh, the person in the background is going to be devastated. Good luck.